Hello there. Last time, I used Trashy Infosource so I decided to remake Lore Video. Hope this time everything will be okay. Well, enjoy the show. Vinny was born an only child in Florence, into a family as simple as the next. At two years old he lost his dad in a gunfire between two rival clans in Italy. Wanting to forget this tragic incident his mother decided to leave Europe and move to America to start a new life. Vinny got his first taste of money by conning the cons themselves in the streets of Chicago. What was a simple hobby to him quickly turned into a profession. His name would spread very fast among locals as being the best bounty hunter in the area and soon the best in the world. At the beginning of his assassin's way, he worked for the Red Mafia. At that time, Grey Mafia was the main enemy of Red Mafia, and Vinny had to kill a lot of Grey Mafia members. For example Angelo, poor guy was only playing poker with some people when Vinny came and extracted infos from him, as well as teeth and bones from a stool across the face. The Shelby GT Vinny has, was originally from Angelo. Working on the Red Mafia, Vinny also had to rescue Tony, the son of Ben, Red Mafia leader. Ben was Tony's father and Sift Heads one. Both worked as gangsters, but obviously, Ben was the boss. Emphasis on the was, because Vinny sifted his head and killed the man's son when Vinny retired from the Mafia. After killing Red Leader, Vinny decided to kill Grey One too. After Sift Heads won, Vinny worked for Ben, who gave Vinny some contracts to complete. Unfortunately, Vinny found his new mate, dead, and a message, next to his body. So, Ben is dead, Vinny decides to get some cash in port for stealing and then selling cars. He got Supra, Lambo Diablo and Chevy Chevelle. Then, a mission that requires from Vinny protection of his fam. Vinny kills a tricky guy. Okay. And the next mission is killing some virgin biker, that is a bit insolent. Headshot. moments later some mafia men have just destroyed Vinny's house and he's gonna kill their leader I can suppose these guys are gray mafia but I am not definitely sure
prepare to fight. Vinny killed lots of gangsters, and there's a new enemy, corrupt police department. Vinny's found out the name of man who'd sent people to kill Vinny, Ralph Dukan. Epic boss fight. <laughs> Credits.
Um, hmm. This girl is Shorty. It is said that Shorty has somewhat of a hazy past. Even if she came from a wealthy French family and was naturally blessed she quickly became exhausted and sought to bring some action in her life. Wanting to live dangerously she began to flirt with drug dealers in Eastern Europe. When things started to go wrong that's when she decided to leave the country and join their best bounty hunter currently known, Vinny. From there on both what right history and Shorty's reputation would take off thanks to her partner's notoriety. If you didn't catch it, Vinny is exhausted from killing people. He is trying to find some relax by, hmm, killing people in other countries. Here we are, important contract for SH story. Okay, now I show you one more mission and the last SH4 cutscene, then we move to Sift Renegade 1 and 3. real modern samurai. Kiro is the son of a well-known family with direct ties to the Japanese Mafia, better known as the Yakuza. He was one of the best assassins of his clan and with a portfolio garnished with so many assassinations it's no surprise that he quickly became one of the best killers in the Orient. His dexterity with all types of samurai weapons would become essential in his expertise. Unfortunately not much known about his brother, Kienji. Not much known about Yuuma, only can say that he is Yakuza leader and probably the vilest person in SH lore. I'm not going to show you all gameplay, like I did in last video. I'll just put some really important stuff here, okay? Amogos.
exactly we're supposed to stay on each other's side. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Maybe you, but not your friend. Seems like the Yakuza will lose one of their brothers now. I'm not gonna let that happen. Yakuza and Triads are enemies. Kiro's just got a call from Triad Chief that one of Yakuza's members got caught by Triad and is going to be killed. This Yakuza guy comes to Bishan. He says Kiro about Kienji's death. Kiro, I'm so sorry. I got caught. Quiet, we need to get out of here fast. Okay, okay. But Kiro... We can talk later. Let's go. No, they killed your brother. What? Triads are gonna pay for what they have done. You came so far to die, you could have chosen a more peaceful location. I have no intentions of dying. I'm going to end your suffering and finally get my vengeance. Your vengeance? Why a vengeance? It was an understanding that we both stay on our sides. Not for that, for killing my brother. Your brother? I know nothing about him. Maybe it comes from your side. It's no secret that you have traitors among your clan. We will not be dying here. I can assure you that. Kiro goes to Triad's chief, and he says that someone in Yakuza has ordered an assassination of Kienji. Triads aren't involved. Kiro, what are you doing? We're starting a war between us and the Triads. They will most likely respond and come kill us all. I need to talk to our chief. Don't get in the way. I have sworn to protect the clan. How won't let you pass? go kill him, and now the one who ordered it too. Team Killer! Look, Kiro is already in Chicago, and he'll try his best to find Vinny. As I've said in last video, there is three main missions in Sift Heads 5. The first one is an assassination of Ghost Gambler.
The second one is an assassination of new Grey Mafia leader, it is said, that while Vinny was on vacation, Grey Mafia was regrouping in South Central area of Chicago. One of Vinny's oldest friends, Darwin is quite handy with the wrench. Either for cars or guns. Whenever Vinny requires a silencer, or just fix his car for the hundredth time, our loyal Darwin will always be able to help him. Last third mission is a raid on Yakuza's, Grey Mafia leader said Vinny that Samurai's won his head. Killing spree. Kiro kidnapped Shorty and wanted to meet Vinny at Junkyard.
Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Top of his head. Finally, Kiro and Vinny teamed up, and it is the turn of Sift Head's world appearance. So, Shorty calls Vinny and talk about Red Mafia, they has regrouped and seem ready to take on Chicago. The main difference between SH World and other SH games is you can choose your character at the start of a game, it means that from this moment I'll say, our team, our assassins and so on to point on plot development. This is Alonzo, a new leader of Red Mafia. One week later, assassins find out, that Alonzo is still alive and moreover, released from prison, and they decide to eliminate Alonzo and Mafia, assassins move to Red Mafia HQ, but there is no Alonzo here.
They think that Black Fox, who is a good informant, will help them find Alonzo. It's not so easy to find him in City, but after some searches and efforts, they finally got a call from Black Fox. Black Fox made an appointment, and the team is on the way to him. Shut up and take my money! Let's wait for a while. Oh, there is a call from our new informant. Congrats, we are in Italy and Black Fox is calling us to say that we have to find a girl named Cosima. She will help us in searching Alonzo's hideout. It is said, that Cosima is a girl, controlled by Mafia and if we release her, she will definitely talk to us about Alonzo. Kazuma told us about Guy, who delivers drugs to Mafia HQ, and if we take his truck, we will sneak into HQ undercover.
Act 2 starts from a pursuit, Yakuza's try to kill Kiro on his way to safe house. So our team has to defend HQ, after that, Survive Tenchman says some kind of message. Assassins go to Japan, they've realized that Yuuma and Yakuza is their new enemy on a par with the Red Mafia and Alonzo. After capturing Kiro's old safe house, team decide to kill all Yakuza's informants. Then team moved to Chicago again, and Black Fox says that Yakuza is still asking questions about them, they understand the is one more informant. After that, Kiro offers to steal ashes of a legendary samurai warrior from Yakuza's tower, to make them come for our assassins. Yuuma sneak to Kiro's HQ, epic boss fight, the end. Are you sure about that? Noob!
Looks like guys are going somewhere, on Vinny's GT. Suddenly, a truck appears, to break off the fun. That's Alonzo's henchmen, they are making an effort to kill our team. After we sifted some heads, the police arrives, and there is a diversity of being arrested cutscene that depends on character we'd choose, the words every assassin say is unique. Here we can see the putridness of law enforcement in sift heads, Alonzo bribed commissioner to put one of assassins in jail. Assassins realize, that the police is corrupted, and decide to talk to the mayor. To reach the mayor, we have to get a tranquilizer from Darwin, in order not to kill innocent guards. As we got to the mayor, we understand, that he is also informed about dishonesty of law enforcement, he offers us to work together for justice. Assassins go to crime hideout, and there, they find out Commissioner deals with criminals, and now, they are going to collect some evidence against Dirty Cop.
Mayer says, that the only photo is not enough, and we have to collect something more. Team flies to Italy, where they find briefcases, which confirm commissioner's corruption. Monster kill, kill, kill. Back to Chicago, Mayor calls us and make an appointment. While we were, chilling with Mayor, some killjoys interrupted our Double kill party, so we have to politely make them get DF out of here. This survived one, told us about secret hideout and bar. Okay, lots of shooting, and we finally got to Alonzo himself. Get this noob out of here. Noob! After credits we can see Vinny's idea about Alonzo's custody, he got him to a cell in Vinny's HQ. Helicopter, helicopter! This time we deal with Russians, Vinny with Kiro on a helicopter destroy a plane and then... Um, actually there is an explanation why we are here in mountains, look. We start in California, guys are on a vacation, 
but a true bounty hunter is always on work, so we have to sift another corrupt cop's head. Headshot! In Motel, we get a letter from Ava, it comes, that Mava is a shorty's previous name. From letter, shorty finds out her sister, Claire, is held by trafficking gang against her will, she asks for the help. Assassins are going to Russia, but at first, they sneak into the airport using tranquilizer. Shorty is looking for a cherry, in strip club, Shorty thinks, that this girl might know something about Claire. Cherry says, that Shorty can find a clue in cottages, on the north of the city, then, the conversation is interrupted by a cocky guy. We kill all gangsters and go to cottages. A GPS. It will help us in finding Claire. It shows us a secret place in mountains, where Claire is held. We need Nico's helicopter to get there, but Nico says, that his heli is broken and needs spare parts.
we go and find them. Bring to Nico. Somehow it comes that there is no shorty in our place. Boys guess she went to mountain by herself. On the ground in Fortress, team regroups and go inside to find Claire. is boring, we are in jungles trying to return an artifact to some rich man. And as always everything up, we are attacked by mercenaries and got crashed.
After reaching safe house, we go back to jungles because the artifact is stolen again. We need some explosives to make a small boom to stop the truck, and we have to go to a near village in gun shop to buy a C4. Let's go to our team. Oh, they are tied up, let's help them. Everything fa up again and we have to find artifact again. We followed the bloody trail and got to the train station and also a train which is leaving it with our artifact. Yes, finally, we did it. Let's bring this creepy thing to an owner. While we were in Brazil, Alonso made his way to a freedom and also blew up our HQ.
Black Fox says Yakuza helped Alonzo, and they are probably partners now, so assassins are going to Tokyo, to sift some Japanese heads. Ah shit, here we go again. After destroying Yakuza's tower, we go to Hawaii to talk with Black Fox. He gives us information about possible Alonzo's hideout but this info is wrong, and we fly back to Japan and go to port to stop Yuima's cargo. We fly back to Hawaii, 
Unfortunately Alonzo's henchman visited this place and poor Fox feels bad, before he dies, he tells us about Commissioner's evil plan, so we go to Chicago and sift his head. Now that Vinny's crew is most wanted by the police, the Italian Mafia will try to close their deal with Yakuza, regarding their criminal activities in Chicago. As we see, Kiro got caught and Vinny with Shorty go to Darwin's home.
Well, we killed all bastards and now Vinny has to rescue Caro from being sentenced. Surprise, motherfucker! You know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye. Mission complete. You know what? That's not all. I don't know for sure what is next and here is my theory.
Luzio is the mob boss of Chicago's family, after Alonzo's demise by Vinny, and Reno is Luzio's partner in crime and stopping the trio from ruining them even more. Oh. Actually there is no sense in Street Wars because it's cancelled and we got reborn instead, but there is one thing in Street Wars, that explains SH cartels existing. Street Wars isn't canon, let it be, but this cutscene must be included in the next SH Reborn updates for sure, because it explains us SH Cartel's one existing. Imagine, this scene in Reborn, and here's second theory. I'll show you two scenes from Reborn and then we get next to Cartels. So again this, and finally cartels. Cartel's one begins in a trunk, it looks like Vinny is injured seriously. Vinny gets out of drowning car and moves his body to Chicago, on his way he meets his potential killers.
Then he got to Kiro, here the game explains us events two days before. Perhaps, Crips is the name of gang, and this guy in white singlet is leader. Then he went to the Asta Club to find out the possible location of Shorty, and he did it, but it comes to be a trap. Luckily, Kiro was on Vinny's trail since the club and he managed to get the info about Luzio and Reno's hideout.
Assassins go to the hideout. Kill all guards in there we can see Shorty. Vinny kills Reno and Shorty is free, she shoots a couple of bullets at Luzio, but doesn't completely kill him. Cartels 2 begins from Darwin's garage, he is repairing something and asks Shorty for a little help, then our team make their way to Reno's funeral, but after they're leaving, there is a some Russian guy asking Darwin about Vinny, we'll see this Russian one more time. Assassins got to the cemetery, and now we have to kill a lot of Mafia men. Vinny almost put the bullet in Luzio's head, but there is an epic plot twist, among guests there was a girl from police and now Luzio is going to be arrested.
Russian guy tracked Kiro and tries to kill him. This Russian is quite tough one. He managed to survive after three deagle bullets in his body. Oh! Run! Run! I'm coming for you! Gani. As Vinny expected, Luzio got released from jail quite fast. Vinny and Kiro go to Russian's base to collect info about that tough one. We killed lots of people and got to the room with safe with info we needed, then Darwin calls and says good news for Vinny. Thank <laughs> you. 
In Cartels 3 we will deal with Yakuza's. Noob! These guys almost kicked Vinny's ass, but Kiro arrived in time and saved him. I got you, homie! We raid Yakuza's and kill a lot of them, I would even say tons of them. By the way, this is Shigeru, I didn't say a thing about him in this video, but in Sift Renegade Kiro fought against him, that's enough to consider him as bad guy. After a gunfight, police arrives and arrests Vinny. Mission failed. We'll get him next time.
In prison, Vinny meets the guy from Cartels 1, Crips leader. <laughs> you serious? After killing that guy, Vinny proceeds to the escape from prison. Shorty and Kiro, of course, will help him. Assassins have to kill nearly the all-prison staff.